Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. Here, if you look at the information carefully, total number of arts, science and commerce students in various colleges. So, whatever the values which are provided in this particular bar graph, uh, that particular information is about uh, how many students uh, from arts, how many students from arts, how many students from science and how many students from commerce uh, joined uh, in various colleges, uh, various colleges that is uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. These are the six different colleges and the courses are arts, science and commerce. These are the three different courses uh, and all the values which are provided in this paragraph in terms of thousands, in terms of uh, thousands, every value. Here, first one is 22.5, 22 22.5 thousand, that is nothing but 22,500. Next, 45,000, next, 40,000. Likewise, we need to take into consider in case of exact values, okay? When you are taking the exact values, you just uh, multiply this particular given number with thousand. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do it, okay? Now, look at the first question. Based on this, this particular information is very clear, no doubt at all. Here, the information is, uh, the information is about uh, total number of students who are taking up uh, arts, science and commerce, various colleges, A to F, six colleges. All the values are in terms of 1000, very clear. Look at the first question. Here, the first question is, uh, the number of students taking arts, in college B, but only one thing you have to be careful is uh, observation. Which college he is talking about and uh, which bar you need to take up. Uh, this is very important. Why? Because all the values are somewhat close to each other. When you are trying to see the numbers, all the values are looking like, uh, no, uh, somewhat close to each other. Uh, so, because of that reason, you need to be very much cautious about this one. Okay? Observation is very important. Uh, here, the number of students who are taking arts in college B. Here, this is college B. Arts, college B is how many thousand is how many thousand favor than favor than is nothing but less than favor than is nothing but less than number of students taking arts in college a and c together same course that is arts but the colleges are a and c together a and c together first write down arts college b Arts College B. Arts is nothing but that is first bar. First bar is indicating arts. College B. Second college, first bar, that is 50. This value is 50. I don't want to write uh, 50,000. Why? Because he is asking in terms of 1,000 itself. In the question already mentioned. So, in the options... Uh, in the answer, you don't want to mention again thousands. Okay. Next, coming to arts, A and C together. Arts is first bar A, 22.5. A is 22.5 plus C. C is 40. C is uh, first bar is 40. So, add these two. Add these two values, 40 plus 22.5, which is uh, 62.5, 62.5, whereas arts in college P, that is 50. Now, we need to take the uh, value, favor than, so many students doesn't know this meaning, favor than is nothing but uh, less than. Here, arts in college P, this value is how much less as comparing with uh, this value. So, which is nothing but the difference between these two, 62.5 minus 50, that is equal to 
12.5000 that 1000 is already mentioned in the question that is the reason why directly you can keep the answer as 12.5 12.5 is the right answer for this question which is option a option a is the right choice let us look at the second question in college f college f the total number of students taking commerce is what percent of students taking arts science and commerce in that college here we need to calculate the percentage what percentage we need to cal calculate percentage is nothing but uh, the value commerce commerce from college f is what percent of the commerce value in college f is what percent of uh, total college f total in college f all the three departments that is uh, arts science and uh, commerce in that college itself we are not talking about other college we are talking about uh, commerce in college f is what percent of uh, total in college f uh, and whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is a common thing right so the required percentage is equal to commerce f commerce is nothing but the third bar third bar is 30 right so 30 divided by total all values together 40 plus 50 plus 30 that is the total value in college f and into 100 percent symbol that is common thing which is equal to 30 divided by 40 plus 50 90 90 plus 30 120 into 100 so this value 31 sir, 34 sir, 4 1 sir, 4 25 sir. Therefore, the required percentage is equal to 25 percentage. 25 percentage is the right answer for this question. 25 percentage that is option B. Option sorry, option D is the right answer. 25 percentage. Next one. How many candidates that is in thousands only? We don't want to write all the thousands, right? Have taken commerce uh, from all colleges together. Very simple. Direct question, commerce total. Total commerce value. That is the question he is asking about. Total commerce is equal to how much? Commerce is the third bar in each and every college. So, I am highlighting first all the third values in each and every college after that i will write down and then i will add all the values okay here it is 37.5 and this is uh, 30 now add all the values first i am writing 40 next 25 next 17.5 and then 35 and then 37.5 and at last uh, 30 add all the values here it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that is 1. So here it is 0, 5 plus 5, 10, that 1 carry forward. 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 5, 18, 18 plus 7, 25. 5 is here, 2 is carry forward. 2 plus 4 plus 2, that is 8, 9, 12, 15, 18. 185.0 that is nothing but 185 thousands that particular thousand is already mentioned in this question so your required answer is 185 option c is the right answer for this question that is the total commerce value from all six colleges together total commerce value from all six colleges together which is 185,000. Option C is the right answer for this question. Next one. What is the respective ratio? Here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio of number of students taking 
साइंस टू द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर टेकिंग आर्ट्स इन कॉलेज डी सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द रेश ऑफ दोज हु आर टेकिंग साइंस फ्रॉम कॉलेज डी टू द दोज हु आर टेकिंग द डिपार्टमेंट आर्ट्स इन कॉलेज डी राइट Number of students those who are taking science D and number of students those who are taking arts in college D. Here the complete information we are talking about college D. First one is about science. Science is the second bar. Science is the second bar. Second bar is forty seven point five. Forty seven point five. Whereas the second one arts. Arts is the first bar. in that uh, college that is uh, 35 second one is 35 now here i can write this value as 475 divided by 10 and this is 35 you can cancel with five table 5 2 times 5 uh, 9 sir 45 and then 2 uh, is left over 25 means 5 5 sir and next again you can cancel with five table 5 sevens 519 so 19 by 2 is to 7 this 2 goes to right side this value becomes 19 is to 2 sevens 14 14 19 is to 14 that is our required ratio 19 is to 14 option d is the right answer for this question option d last question in this session what is the average number of students here we need to calculate the average number of students that is in terms of 1000 itself uh, taking up science taking up science from all six colleges together here we need to calculate the average of the students those who are taking uh, science from all six colleges together and given that in uh, brackets rounded off to two digits after the decimal point so as we know that average is equal to average is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations so first we will add all the values first uh, science science is the middle bar among uh, each and every college first i'll just highlight the values one is 45 second one is also 45 third one is also 45 fourth one 47.5 this is 37 sorry not 37.5 this is 27.5 and then it is 50 write down all the values here it is 45 45 again 45 345s and then 47.5 and then here it is 27.5 and last one 50 here it is uh, 5 plus 5 10 0 1 is carry forward 15 plus 1 16 16 plus 14 16 plus 14, 30, 0, and 3 is carry forward. This is uh, 12 plus 3, 15. Sorry, uh, 16 plus 3, 19. 19, 19 plus 2, 21. 21 plus 5, 26, 260. Sum of all the values. Sum of all the values, which is uh, 260, divided by Number of uh, colleges. How many colleges we are taking into consider? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six colleges. Now you can calculate the average. Required average is equal to. You can cancel with the uh, uh, first uh, two table, two three sir, and next uh, two one thirties. One thirty by three, three four sir, three four sir twelve. Ten is left over. 10 is nothing but uh, 3 3 sir and next uh, 1 is left over if we keep point here that will become 10 again 3 3 sir again 3 3 sir 
we need to stop at this position why because in the brackets he mentioned that rounded up to two digits after the decimal point therefore the required answer for this question is 43.33 all the values are given in terms of thousand so no need of worrying about it in the question itself he mentioned in terms of thousand so your answer becomes 43.33 that is the required average number of students who are taking science from all six colleges together that is our required answer option b is the right choice for this question in this way we need to solve the questions related to this model and uh, i hope you understand each and every problem in the upcoming sessions we will discuss some more problems related to bar graph data interpretation thank you thanks for watching